screen animations can be a huge time saver for any engineer because they can rapidly create the visualization for the application need. Let me show you an example of this. So as you can see, here's the screen I like to animate and I have several objects that I want to do something with. First step is I come over here, here's the door, let me give focus to it, right click, go down to animations. What I like to do is a vertical movement, click on it. Now you see I have a little shadow box here, I can move it back down to the location I want it to stop at. Then I give it the tag name, so I'm going to use here the roller door tag. Use IntelliSense, find it, that's okay. Now the range is going to be a maximum of 27,000. That's my analog value. The next one's going to be this box right here. Give focus to it. I'm going to do a horizontal movement. There's the shadow box again. Let me move it to the last position that I want to leave it at. Again, the tag is already predefined as analog value. This is going to be bottle box. Use IntelliSense. Find that word. Let's go to the end value, 27,000. Click Enter. Now I'd actually like to do something with this conveyor with the actual roller itself, and that's going to be a graphic list. I have multiple graphics, so it's easy to accomplish this task. Go to graphic list here, click on add new, accept the default name, no problem. The value, I actually want to change this to 0 to 5,000. Now I can actually go grab graphics from somewhere else in the project, and here they are. Let me grab the first one, click OK. Click on Add New again, it's going to auto-enumerate. I go to the next one, click OK, do it again. There's the third one. Here's the fourth graphic. You can see it's still auto-enumerating for us, so we don't have to be concerned with that. And last but not least, here's the fifth one, but I want to use a default range, so the last value, whatever it is, analog, will be a default picture. There it is. Click OK. Now let me go back to the actual control screen. Let me go grab this graphic list, drag it on, there it is. On the property section, go to Appearance, let's change this to no scroll bar. Let me resize, refit, there it is. Drag it down into position. Now let me actually go give it a tag, the same as the bottle box. Now let me actually give focus to the HMI. Simulate it. Now it's going to auto create this in the background so we can actually see how these animations are going to function. There it is. Now we have it. If I come over here and move this first slider, now you can see I can move the door up. And at this point, I can actually move the bottle box over. And at the exact same time, you actually see the roller spinning. I was able to accomplish all this just a matter of minutes. Now that's engineering efficiency.